then Rio Games Chief Demission Stephen Soy and the National Olympics Committee of Kenya Secretary General Francis Kinili when the charges were read to them. But some of the figures who were missing even among the seven who were actually recommended for charges is cabinet the former cabinet secretary for sports that's hassan wario now the prosecution has applied for warrants to be issued for the arrest of former sports cabinet secretary hassan wario who is kenya's ambassador to austria and three others after they failed to appear in court being the chief demission of Kenya team in the Rio 2016 Olympic Games 2016, arbitrarily used your office to confer a benefit of Kenya shillings, 6,590,286, being payment of air tickets and allowances to unauthorized persons during the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. True or not true, Mr. Mm -hmm. Soy? Count 13 is also you, Mr. Soy. Willful failure to comply with applicable, applicable procedures and guidelines related to management of public funds, contrary to Section 45, Subsection 2B, as read with Section 48, Subsection 1 of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act, Number 3 of 2003, particulars are on 19th day of July 2016 at the Ministry of Sports, Culture and the Arts within Nairobi County. Well, we definitely follow up on this particular scandal that is a prize and even as the director of public prosecution after reviewing the evidence that was gathered um, for the, the names of these seven high-ranking officials for prosecution in terms of the Rio 2016. Now, the charges facing the accused include making unauthorized payments of a payment of allowances and purchasing tickets worth 22 million Kenya shillings, which were not used by a athletes or officials in the chaotic trip that was full of joy riders as well as 22.4 million Kenya shilling that was embezzled. We're also talking about 16.8 million Kenya shillings worth of air tickets that was not utilized. We definitely continue following up on this. Now the accusations among what we've just mentioned to you, 15.9 million Kenya shillings in overpaid allowances, 6.5 million Kenya shillings expenditure on unauthorized facing the seven, some of whom actually appeared. Now, when we're talking about the seven who were co-accused, we're talking about the former cabinet secretary for sports, that's Hassan Wario, who's the current Kenyan ambassador to Austria. Richard Ekai, who appeared in court today, the former PS for sports, and Kipchoge Keino, the former chairperson of the National Olympic Committee of Kenya. These are some of the individuals who have been mentioned by the director of public prosecution and who were set to face these charges. Now, Francis Kanili, the National Olympic Committee of Kenya Secretary, and we also have Stephen Kiptanui Arapsoi, the Rio Games Chief Demission, who also appeared in court today. This are some of the individuals who are facing the charges. Harun Komen Chebet, the former Director of Administration, and Patrick Kimathi Kabu, the former finance officer. Some of the individuals, as we've, as we've mentioned, rather, who are facing the charges. What charges are we talking about? Willful failure to comply with applicable procedures and guidelines relating to management of public funds, obviously contrary to what the Constitution says about management of funds. We also have abuse of office, contrary to Section 46, as read with Section 48, our article one of the anti-corruption and economic crimes act number three of 2003 those who will be facing that particular charge including Hassan Wario we also have Richard Titus Ekai Harun Komen Chebet and we also have another charge of careless failure to comply with applicable procedures and guidelines relating to management of public funds contrary to section 45 subsection 2b as read um, within the anti-corruption and economic crimes um, section of the Constitution. Even as we follow up on this, our investigative reporter has camped at the courts to follow up on this developing story and now joins us from our CBD studios with the latest. Francis Ontoma, thank you for making time. What will the arrest mean to Envoy Wario if executed? 
Well, uh, Jesse, Hassan Wario will have or will need to take the earliest possible flight back home here from Austria, of course, ready to face the prosecution, uh, to, to face his prosecution as uh, the charges have already been read out uh, before the locals today. Him together with Kitoge Keino, the legend, uh, uh, the athletics legend, have been ordered by the court to report at the DCI offices on Thursday uh, at 6 a.m. and ensure that uh, they go through the process of uh, preparing, from the, uh, preparing them for, for this case. And then on Friday, they will be taking their stand in the dock, of course, ready now to answer to these charges and uh, take plea on uh, the charges that have been uh, leveled against them. Of course, many charges, uh, we are speaking of over 10 charges that have been leveled against uh, uh, Wario and his six co-accused. This is the first time that Kenya is actually witnessing uh, the, 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 or rather a diplomat of the level of, uh, of, 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 of an ambassador facing charges similar to whatever we are, we, are, we are reading here. And therefore, this is quite a serious one because these are economic crimes that really touches on uh, even the, diploma, the diplomatic relations uh, between Kenya and the country that he is representing. And therefore, he will have to come back home and uh, ready, of course, pre prepare himself uh, to follow this, uh, uh, to go through the entire process. But uh, what has happened today, actually, we had three out of the seven who have been mentioned in this particular fiasco. They were in court today. The charges were read before them. And of course, leading the lights today was Richard Ekai, who is the principal secretary, a former principal secretary in the Ministry of Sports. He was just about to take up his new role as the ambassador for Kenya in Russia. Uh, but then this is not going to happen. His lawyers tried to put up a strong case, saying that uh, he had uh, scheduled, actually, to go for that official uh, meeting today in Russia uh, to travel actually tonight but then uh, the court was quite clear that uh, he has no he has no really uh, ambassadorial uh, roles really to hand over to anyone and therefore he's not going to uh, to, to to fly out of the country the passports of uh, those who are in court today the court order that they be uh, uh, they, they be subjected to court so that uh, they are not able to travel out of the country until this matter is handled and therefore eyes are fixed for a uh, Friday when uh, Wario will be having his day in court. And of course, to answer to these charges, massive embezzlement of over 55 million shillings, that is what you are speaking about. And these charges had uh, been read to him uh, several, uh, rather had come up uh, in the public discourse several months ago. Many thought that this had gone under, but then they are back in court, back hunting uh, the former cabinet secretary, Jesse. up on that particular case even as it develops and we await for the cap of the former cabinet secretary Hassan Wario who is the current ambassador to Austria to actually present himself to the DCI offices just as explained by our investigative reporter Francis Ontoma who will give us more updates even in our subsequent news bulletins. Now, earlier today, the first and second accused persons in the murder of Monica Kimani pleaded not guilty before Lady Justice Jesse Lesit. Now, Joseph Irongo and television journalist Jackie Maribe denied involvement in the murder of Miss Kimani, who was found dead at her apartments last month. According to the charge sheet read to the duo by Lady Justice Jesse Lesit of the Criminal Division of the High Court, the offense which violates sections 203 and 200 and four of the panel code was committed on September the 19th. Now, Lady Justice Lassit deferred the defense bail application to Wednesday this week. Jacqueline Wanjiru Maribe, on the night of the 19th of September this year, at an unknown time, at Lamuria Gardens Apartment, Kitale Lane, off Denny Street, uh, that uh, Denny Street Road in Kilimani area within Nairobi County, he had jointly charged with the murder of uh, Monica Nyawera Kimani. Now, first accused, you understand the charge? Yes, sir. Is it true? Okay. Second accused, you understand the charge? Yes, sir. Is it true? Yes, sir. Well, obviously, that happened early on during the day, and our reporter, Shadrach Miti, is definitely following up on this particular case and will give us more information even as time continues to flow.